first reported by the Washington Post, but not confirmed by NBC News, before Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi disappeared last week at the Saudi consulate in Turkey, U.S. intelligence intercepted communications from Saudi officials describing how the powerful Saudi crown prince wanted to kidnap the prominent critic and Washington Post columnist and get him back to Saudi Arabia. Now, Turkish officials say they have evidence that after Khashoggi entered the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, he was met by a 15-member Saudi hit squad and eventually murdered. NBC News' Josh Letterman reporting exclusively today that Khashoggi checked his cell phone just before entering the consulate, but never read the messages sent to him minutes later. This according to these screenshots of messages sent to Khashoggi by a friend in the U.S. and obtained by NBC News. Joining me now is Senator Bob Corker, Chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, thank you very much for joining us. I know you've been expressing concerns. Your committee, uh, with only one dissenting member, bipartisan uh, call on the White House under the Magnitsky Act, which triggers an automatic investigation by the administration, by the President of the United States, to see if a foreign government, to see who may have caused the disappearance of this prominent uh, dissident. A critic of of the regime, you said today yep. to the press that you think that uh, that you think he may have been killed. Do you yep. have what is your yep. reason for that suspicion? Yeah. So uh, first of all, Andrea, always good to be with you. Um, look, it, it, everything points to that being the case. I hope that I am wrong, and I hope he turns up healthy uh, in some other part of the world. But. I mean, everything that I've read, both intel-wise and uh, just I'm aware of, makes me think that the likelihood is that he's been murdered. Um, and, uh, and everything points at this juncture to Saudi Arabia. But, uh, you know, Andrea, in the world that you, you're very familiar with, things can be murky. And, and uh, who knows if uh, this was set up by someone else to make it appear this way. But right now, um, uh, everything would point to Saudi Arabia and everything would point to the fact that unfortunately it would appear that he's been murdered but again I hope he shows up someplace there are some reports that that Turkish officials may have had some listening devices inside that consulate and may actually have heard what transpired and heard him being killed that is a report not that we have not confirmed. Have you heard anything like that or seen anything like that? I have not. Uh, you know, I've been down in the skiff uh, for the last couple of days. The secure reading room, the, reading the, the intel. Yeah. Right. Uh, just reading the, the, the intel that we have, I have not read, and if I had, I obviously couldn't share it, but I've not read anything uh, of that sort. I have heard of this reporting just uh, just recently, but I don't, know what, I don't know whether it's true or not. What I found, Andrea, I talked to the, I immediately called the ambassador here, who I just met with a couple of weeks ago and shared with him how bad relations were on the hill towards uh, towards Saudi Arabia for multiple reasons. I called him immediately when we found that this uh, journalist was missing. And he shared with me that the video equipment inside the consulate only live streams that doesn't record, which is a ridiculous, ridiculous statement. Um, so, uh, I mean, uh, you've been, that's <laughs> just not the way it works. So uh, again, um, uh, Awfully fishy response uh, and could can not I just possibly say, be true. Yeah. Can I just share with our viewers yeah. something that you know very well, that he is the younger brother of the powerful crown prince. He is also a son of the king. And he, this ambassador whom you say you talked to, who gave you this fishy response, is the younger brother of the crown prince who is in some quarters by Turkish officials being accused of having somehow been be behind the foul play. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Now, there is another theory that we've seen video that Turkish authorities have shared with us and with others. They put it out on Turkish television. This video shows men allegedly in a Saudi hit squad landing in two planes that morning, then uh, Khashoggi going into the consulate yeah. after these men left their hotel. He goes into the consulate he's never seen again. Our Josh Letterman today exclusively has cell phone texts, uh, WhatsApp texts, showing that he did not respond after a certain hour when he went in. So either the phone was turned over or he has not been back on that cell phone. We don't know about other cell phones that he may mm -hmm. have had. All, All right. of this adding up to the possibility that perhaps this was supposed to be a rendition, that that's what the intercept 
uh, did communicate and something went awry? Um, that is, uh, you know, very possible. Um, you know, uh, I was just down in Venezuela, as you know, and uh, while I was there, a young councilman, if you will, uh, who the Venezuelan people, uh, the government thought was involved in the attempted assassination, he unfortunately, while I was there, was, I don't know whether he was being tortured or what happened, but he ended up dead. Um, they say he jumped freely out of a 10-story window, uh, you know, did that happen or was he tortured and it went wrong. So. Uh, when you get into these rendition issues, and I'm not saying that rendition necessarily was what hap was happening in Venezuela, things can go awry, but do you think and that people can people end up perishing uh, uh, sometimes, and people go too far. Again, I don't know. This is all uh, a conjecture. I have no idea. The only thing I do know is that. Um, everything would point at this time to Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia for some, for whatever happened, being responsible uh, for this person. And uh, if he is someplace re renditioned, uh, certainly they need to bring him forth. But otherwise, it does appear that he's been murdered. And I think over the, the next several days, things are going to become much clearer. And one very quick question. We only have a few seconds left. Do you believe that if U.S. intelligence had actually heard these intercepts, that he should, they should have warned him, that they had an obligation to warn him that he was in danger? Yeah, so I don't want to speak so much to that. I mean, that's obviously in a classified area. But let's say that even what you were saying was a possibility, then the question would be, when did they know? They might have just known, you know, after the if fact. they did know, they might well. They might have just known right before it happened, right? So, um, so I, I don't. I can't say today that U.S. officials had a responsibility. Again, I think that also will become clear over the next several days. Thank you so much, Senator. Thank we'll, you, Andrea. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me, or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.